Hey there, good day. Welcome to this video on Python, list, dictionaries and tuples. Uh, for a long time I wanted to make this video because many people have told me that they know what is list, uh, tuple or dictionary but they find it difficult to understand when to use what. So I've decided to put all of them in a single frame and let's understand what these are and when and what situation you can use it. So let's start with list. So in Python, a list is just a collection. So I can create a list with saying that 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this is my list. And dictionaries are key value pair. So I can create a dictionary something like uh, I can create k1 as key and value as 1, k2 as key and value as 2 and so on and so forth. This is my dictionary. And I can create a tu tuple with again uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the first difference is in the syntax. List is square brackets, dictionary is curly braces and tuple is uh, round, uh, round brackets. So this is the way we define list, dictionaries and tuples. So let's try to print the list. So for printing the list, uh, we can just write the print and you can see list I printed the list similarly I can print a dictionary I and I printed a dictionary and similarly I can print a tuple okay, and I printed a tuple so the list is a list of anything so it can be considered as array dictionaries are key value pair uh, similar to what JSON objects if you are familiar with JavaScript tuples are a special kind of list which is immutable means once we a tuple is defined we cannot uh, change it so for example in list if you want to append something into list we can say list dot append let's say i want to append 10 and i print 10 is appended if you want to app append something in dictionary you have to use dictionary dot update okay and in that you will again put a key value pair like k3 key and colon value is 3 and let me add one more key k4 is key and value is 4 okay and if I print print the dictionary I have 4 key k1 k2 k3 k4 but in tuple you cannot append or add anything there is no append function anyway in tuple okay so we cannot append it what are the operation we can do in tuple we'll see it later so there are also another way of doing things in list is like in list we can say I want to insert something at a particular index. So let's say I want to insert something at index 3. Let's say I want to insert 13 and let's see I have inserted 13 in index 3. But in update you cannot specify what place you want to update in dictionaries. It is automatic. Dictionaries are just a hash table kind of thing. So where keys are mapped to hash. It may even not, uh, it, it may even not keep, keep the order on which you are actually inserting it. Now coming back to list again, if you want to remove something from list, you have to say list.pop. So you can say 10 is removed uh, from the list. Similarly for uh, dictionary, if you want to remove something, you can say dict, uh, dot. you can again say pop, but you have to specify the key. Let's say I specify key K3. Okay. So I have removed the key K3 and tuple as I say it's actually immutable we cannot do anything. Okay, There are some function in tuple like uh, I can say tuple dot count like count the number of time one is occurrence of one. If I change the original tuple with multiple occurrence of one it will print that. Similarly there is another function called index so I just want to say which index 3 is it will say 3 okay and I say which index for, for 1 is it will give me the first instance if, if there are multiple values okay so these are the normal operations similarly in list also we can say list dot count count for example 3 it will say 1 if I put 3 again it will say 2 okay Similarly, this dot index will give me where the 3 is okay, or where the 5 is. Okay. 
Now there is another way of printing, it's called range of printing. So uh, we can, uh, when we say list, okay, it just print the list, but we can, it list actually means we are printing everything. So this is the way list is printing. And this colon is called inclusive exclusive operator, where if I say zero, it means include the index zero, but if I say index three, it say exclude the index three. So in this case, only zero, one, two will be printed. So zero, one, two is printed. Okay. If you say zero colon nothing, everything will be printed. If I say nothing to everything, everything will be printed. If I say one to everything, everything will be printed. Same thing is applicable to tuples also. We can even say tuple is similar thing. It will print everything. If I say uh, zero, tuple zero to two, it will print it. Okay. Now these are the normal operations we will do. Tuples are immutable. But there is one thing we need to understand is that we can provide a list inside a tuple. For example, let's say I have one, two, and providing a list which says 10, 20, 30. Okay. Tuple is immutable, but if we have a list inside a tuple, we can actually change, make the changes into the list because the list is not immutable. So for example, let's, uh, tuple two dot I can say append 200 and let me print out triple it is appended 200 i can also say triple 2 index 0 equal to um, let's say 900 it changes it to 900 so you can change the list other things are that these uh, these list as well as triple they don't uh, necessarily need to contain single time type of data they can actually contain multiple types of data Similarly, tuples can also contain a string. Okay. Up, uh, this is not referring to two. This is now referring to three. Okay. Now, uh, so the difference between tuple and list is a collection of data. It can be of any type. Tuple itself is immutable. List is mutable. And but if you are containing a mutable element inside a tuple, you can actually modify it, but you cannot change the list. It will be pointed to a list. Dictionaries are key value pair. So this is just a broad explanation of what list, dictionaries and tuples are in Python. I hope it's, uh, it helps you to understand the difference between these three and how this can be used. And thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.